Hey, what's up everybody? It's M Squared here. Just wanted to make a quick video for all of my fellow DJs who might be having issues with Scratch Live quitting unexpectedly. I had the issue. Uh, I just figured out how to fix it. Uh, I had Serato tech support. They were awesome. Thank you. So uh, here it is. Check it out. Okay, so if you have Serato Scratch Live, which is here, and you see that it opens and it just closes automatically and it gives you a message that says Scratch Live has quit unexpectedly and you keep trying and it's not opening. Yep, happened to me. So I know all about that. I'm going to try to walk you through really quickly on how to fix that. All you have to do is go to your finder, file, new finder window, go to music, and then go to, you'll see a folder called underscore Serato underscore. Go to that folder and you'll see a database v2 file. Choose that file and then rename it to database v2 old, O-L-D, like this. It should look like this. See that right there? It should look like this when you rename it. Once you rename that, Go ahead and open Serato Scratch Live. And when it opens up, if it's still happening where it's closing really quick and it gives you that same message, Serato Live quit unexpectedly, don't worry. Just go back. And now you're going to select that Serato underscore folder, right? And you're going to rename it underscore Serato underscore and you're gonna put a one here once you rename the folder okay so you're gonna rename the folder Serato underscore I mean I'm sorry underscore Serato underscore one okay so now that's renamed there it is now it's focused okay there we go so now that it's renamed one you're gonna go back and open Serato scratch live here and now when you open it, it should be working, but you're going to notice that your crates are missing, right? So once you go back to Finder, you'll see that Serato creates a new underscore Serato underscore folder, which is this right here. You're going to want to go back to the one that you renamed as one, copy, choose the subcrates, right click, copy the subcrates folder. Go to the new underscore Serato underscore folder that was uh, just selected and then right click there and then paste it once you've copied it. Paste it into this folder. Now go back and open Serato Scratch Live. And once you've opened Serato Scratch Live, then everything should be working just fine. All your crates should be showing up intact with no problems and uh, no issues so uh, this is really like the first tutorial I've ever done of it on anything but I just wanted to uh, be helpful to any DJs that I could um, since this happened to me uh, and I you know was able to get some info on how to fix it thanks to Serato and the Scratch Live uh, team over there uh, they were really great so uh, thanks again appreciate the support and uh, check out more info on uh, DJMsquared.com thanks